Senate Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu committed more offenses than the suspended CBN Governor MFLA. He should be sacked. NNPP Chieftain Galadima. Galadima said that Yakubu deserved to be fired as the electoral body's chairman by President Bola Tinubu. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. A chieftain of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, Babu Galadima, has accused the national chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Mahmoud Yakubu, of committing more grievous crimes than the suspended central bank governor Godwin MFLA. As a result, Galadima said that Yakubo deserved to be fired as the electoral body's chairman by President Bola Tinubu, stating that Yakubo reportedly plotted with some politicians to subvert Nigerians' will during the previous presidential election. Galadima made this call to Tinubu while speaking with Chinese television on Tuesday the 16th that what Yakubu did was more than what the, the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBM, Godwin MFLA, did before he was sacked. He was quoted by Chinese TV as saying, the INEC chairman must go. What he did is not up to what Godwin MFLA did. He condoled with some to subvert the will of Nigerians. He committed the greatest crime anybody will commit. Yakubo was accused of tanting the presidential election in 2023. Some political stakeholders accused the INEC chairman of rigging the 2023 presidential election to Tunubu's benefit. Hmm. The INEC chairman did a great job. The opposition parties will not praise the INEC chairman because they failed to win the presidential election. The chairman can never be bothered about your saying that is Nigerian politics for you, really. <laughs> Let's assume in for a second. Let's say Article 1 or Peter will be won. The election won't have been free and fair, Abi. Yakubo would have been champion of democracy, right? They play, they play, they play. These are Nigerians talking. You know, Tinubu has turned blind eye on removal of INEC chairman because he nominated him on that position. No wonder he did his bidding. Exactly 100%. That guy should be sacked. Even Ogar Tinubu know, say the elections that brought him as the as INEC president was a totally mess. Hang on there. Go to court if you have any further questions from my neck. Tunubu just based on compromise. The man was working under Buhari orders. If you want to deal with this man, start from Buhari because na Buhari they give order. Free that man, Biko. If it is in a serious country, by now, the man will be in Supo. 2023 general election was INEC versus Nigerians. You can't bite the fingers that fed you. Only the, the legend can understand. Both of them committed atrocities. It's only God can forgive them because we, human beings, will not even give them a, a listening here. Talk more of forgiveness. Now, now, when my eye don't open, fantastic corrupt country, for not allowed Peter Obi to win Abi, don't forget that this man is not Peter Obi supporter. Eh? Uh -huh. You see, it's not Peter Obi supporters. Nigerians um, are really very funny people. What happened during that election is nothing to tell him about. But we are being blinded by tribalism and religion. We 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 not cover the truth because of our selfish interests. See, let me tell you something. 
let President Bola Tunubu turn to be the best president in the world, even the best president Nigeria ever had. The question is, how was the process that brought him in there? These things are important. The younger ones are watching us, how we do our things. Even the INEC chairman understood what he did. If international observers can say, see, the INEC failed. The INEC was not transparent in that election. They did the worst election in the presidential election and the state election. They did not stick correct themselves. And when people talk, they will say, Peter will be supporters, IPOP members, Igbos and all that. This man that just said this, Galadima, is, uh, is I think he's this, he was the spokesperson to NNPP, uh, Kwan Kwachisu. Nigerians understand that that election was not perfect. That election was just like uh, what small children they do. You understand? We not say people they thief, but if you see the thief, you go hide yourself. But this one in a broad daylight, they committed what they committed. And when people talk, they say, why are you talking? Anybody that says, see, this is not right. Anybody that is saying the truth, you are Peter Obi supporters. You are this and that. What exactly is the sin of Peter Obi, if I may ask? Because even as I'm talking now, they don't tag me obedient supporter or obedient uh, member and all that. This is really very wrong. We are talking about one Nigeria. I always say this. Exactly what Norton has did during President Muhammad Buhari's tenure. Eh, now our son, people want to celebrate our our son's uh, tenor and all that, our tenor and this and this and that. What was the end of it? Nothing to tell him about. Last, last, President Muhammad Buhari and the APC member turned Nigeria upside down. And here we are. Everybody is lamenting. The good part of it is that whether it be APC, you be PDP, you be Labour Party, Yahusa, Igbo, Yoruba. Now the same markets, now everybody they go. The same fair price now with the buy. Our eye never clear. Uh, Charlie Boy go talk, say, our mumu never do. Until our mumu do, then we will tell ourselves that we are tired in this kind of, in this kind of life we are living. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for this coming out here. Bye for now.